Hey guys, welcome. What a crazy ride for the past 24 hours, isn't it? So much excitement, yet mingled with certain amount of disappointments. Well, such is the life of being a star citizen. And our star citizen journey goes on, and our star citizen science goes on. So in this video, let's check out the differences between the Idris P, Idris M, Idris K and Idris T. This is not a ship review video, which I will tell you all the detailed specs for these ships. This video is about figuring out what package includes what and what can be switched and what cannot. Now, let's start with a stock Idris P. And this ship alone is being sold as a standalone ship with limited stock. And oh boy, the experience of purchasing this ship in those waves are part of the roller coaster ride for the past 24 hours. It is crazy that at the top of the hour for each waves, this ship is open and closed for sale in the same second. However, for those lucky ones, if you're trying to buy this for Warbound, for some players, the transaction might not go through. For example, their card got declined after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and all of a sudden, some lucky ones can purchase during that short time. But in general, the sales <laughs> opens and closes in the same second. And guess what? For those a few seconds of sale, CIG has already made over 5 million US dollars for the past couple of days. Now, if you have purchased this package, this standalone ship, here is what you get. This is the original paint for the Idris P. You have no main gun right here, nothing here. So you would have to buy extra kit in order to kit your Idris P. But you do have everything else. Nice hanger, all the weapons. You also purchased 15.5 million. All HP. Now, for all the Idrises, you can put total 11 PDCs. However, for the stock Idris P, you have only 6 PDCs. You would have to purchase extra kit to get the extra 5 PDCs. Now, for the weaponry, the difference between Idris P and Idris M is this main gun right here. For the Idris P, you have only two size 5 hard points for this main turret. On the Idris M, as we shall see later, the gun is a lot bigger, and they are two size 7. The Idris P has one extra dual size 5 main turret than the Idris M, which is at the stern of the ship. The bottom stern, right here. On the Idris M, we do not have this main turret. And for the rest of the weapon race, they are exactly the same between Idris P and Idris M. In the middle of the ship, port, you have two dual size 5 main turrets, starboard side as well, and on the bottom, you also have two main turrets, one on each side, right here. You also have these dual size 4 remote ballistic galling turrets, even though you can switch them to laser cannons. But uh, I do not recommend you do that because 8 will eat your capacitor. Because these guns, you usually don't use these very often. So leave it as ballistics. It's my recommendation for a better Idris loadout. Now, this side as well. Ballistic galling guns. You also have these two more remote turrets. One on the port bow and the other on the starboard bow. You also have two cameras which one of the seats can control. One is right on top of the bridge, right here, and the other is under the ship, right here. So this is what you get, paying 1500 US dollars or 1900 store credit. But the trick is, in order to make the ship more combat effective, more fun to use, you would have to fall into the trap of purchasing different kits for the Idris P. You have to equip those Idris kit through your Mobi glass. Let's take a look at the Idris K kit first. The Idris K kit was sold as a aftermarket kit for $250, but they have increased price. Right now, it's $300 for Warbound and $350 for store credit. And each account, you can only purchase one type of kit. 
which means you can only purchase one store credit kit. If you want to purchase another one, then you have to buy one warbound kit, but you cannot purchase the same kit for two warbounds or two store credit. So the paint that comes with the Idris K kit is the Marauder livery. And the most important thing that comes with this kit is the Exodus size 10 laser beam made by Herson Dynamics. And by the way, if you have an Idris M, you can also switch with the Mass Driver Cannon, which is the real gun. You also have five M2C Swarm, and these are the laser PDCs, five of them in each kit. So you can equip this entire ship with this laser PDCs. The third thing that comes with it is a anti-ship missile turret. I think it's this one, IFR MS-7, yes. You have 32 size 3 missiles. The problem is, you cannot switch these missiles. So it's fixed as Viper 3 missiles. And even though you see these things when you first equipped, it says empty. So what you do is you save the loadout, and then you exit out. And then go back, and then you check. So all your Viper 3 missiles are equipped. And I have tried to unequip these missiles, but there is just no option for me to unequip them. So this ship is fully equipped with the Idris K kit. This is a Marauder paint. Very nice. And now, this is the laser. The Reaper laser. And we're going to be doing a detailed testing video for this. I can't wait to do that. And here is the 32 side 3 missile. Pilot seat cannot control those missiles. Those are not slaved. Most likely, we're going to have to go physically to that turret to fire those missiles. Co-pilot seat cannot fire the laser. But co-pilot seat can fly the ship. And co-pilot seat can also scan, but no missiles. The seat behind the co-pilot seat is a C-08. This seat has two remote turrets. One is on top, which is the camera on top. And the other one is the bottom camera. Now heading to bow of the ship, you can see there is a escape pods and turret. So you have to sit on this turret to fire those missiles. We can only arm four missiles, but uh, you have eight on each side, right? Okay, let's see the angle for these missiles. Good, 360 degrees. Let's fire four missiles right there. All right, missiles empty. Let's see how much is the damage. We cannot rearm on the missile turret. Let's go to the pilot seat. Check. Oh, still no service. I cannot rearm these missiles. Maybe I cannot restock these missiles? I'm gonna try to do a repair right here. Oh, no way. I cannot restock. I can refuel, so which means this place works. But uh, I cannot restock these missiles. Wow, that's terrible. Let me try again. Nope, no service. That's it. This is terrible. The only way to get those missiles back is to reclaim the ship. Whoa. The ship is already gone. And the explosion follows. There's no explosion sound. Next kit is an Idris T kit. T means torpedo. So the main feature for this kit is torpedo. But oh boy, $350 for Warbound and $430 for store credit. That's so expensive. Is it worth it? One of the paints that is included in this package is the Nightbreak livery. It's pretty nice paint. Really like it. The main module is this Hammerfall Torpedo Launcher. You have 12 size 20, I mean, 20 size 12 torpedoes. And guess what? CAG has added different types of torpedoes in-game. I went to Area 18 earlier. 
I purchased the Executor size 12 torpedoes. And guess how much I spent? Over 30 million AUEC. But the problem is you cannot change them. So I literally spent the 30 million for nothing because I tried however way I can. There is no option for me to switch these torpedoes. I unequipped all of them. I relogged, I'll type forward, unequip, equip, whatever way I can try, I can think of, I tried. There is no way I can equip a different type of torpedoes except these super slow calamity size 12 torpedoes with 250 meters per second even though it can do over 1 million damage, but it is super slow. Next thing very interesting for this package is the pepper box. And these are missile PDCs. The description says storing 16 size 1 missiles. The, the PBB-116 pepper box is as disruptive as it is deadly. Exiling at both inflicting damage and overwhelming evasive maneuvers. I have tried this missile PDC. It's very interesting. So I'm going to do a dedicated video for this. The problem is in each of the T package, you only get five of them. And total, you have 11 PDCs. And another problem I experienced is that uh, by default, you have Spark 1 missiles. And earlier, I spent a long time switching them all to Arrow 1 missiles. But somehow when I store the ship and pull the ship out, all my missiles went back to stock Spark 1. I just wasted a lot of time doing that. So if you want to do that, maybe in the next patch, I don't know if this is a bug or this is intended. This is not a locked missile, not a bespoke missile. We should be able to change different missile types, but we cannot. The third thing that comes with this package is a dual size 7 ballistic cannon turret for the main gun at the bow of the ship. You have two 9 series long sword ballistic cannon and this gun is horrible. This size 7 compared with a size 6 Myris cannon which is for your Polaris. This gun has only 2300 alpha damage. Polaris cannon 3400. Maximum damage this gun can do only 731,000 yet the Polaris can do 3 million. It is because this gun has only 317 rounds. Polaris cannon has 900 rounds. And rounds per minute, this one is a little bit faster, 100. But the speed is 756 meters per second. Oh my goodness. And the range is less than 4 kilometers. And heat per shot is over 50,000. It can get overheat really quickly. So I don't want to say that this gun is trash, but that is just fact. This gun is trash. But I do believe eventually CIG is going to buff it, just as how they rebalance the Polaris cannons. In the beginning, the Polaris cannon was really bad, but right now it's in a really good, powerful position. So I hope this gun eventually can get buffed because right now it's completely useless, except that it looks different and it's cool. That's it. So this is how the torpedo module looks like. You have four torpedo ports, two on each side. You can even see the torpedoes. And if you unlock the ship, you can manually tractor these torpedo out of the tube. Oh, it's not taking any damage. Whoa. No, it's not taking any damage. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want this? Oh, Guys, oh, shoot, oh. shoot here. But if someone outside the ship and use a gun and shoot those torpedoes inside the tube, the torpedo will not blow up. No in space. <laughs> okay, ready to die. Oh or it's going to take a few magazines. This torpedo module is only a module. It's not like the Polaris torpedo. You have a torpedo bay, which you can manually see those torpedo tubes. So where do they put all 20 size 12 torpedoes? Maybe it's in the middle. Oh, here, loading. So these are the storage for the torpedoes. It'd be nice if there is a door that can open and we can jump in there and see those torpedoes just like what we see on the Polaris. Now here are the missile PDCs. 16 size 1 missiles. But like I said earlier, I switched all those missiles, but uh, they revert back to stock Spark 1 missiles. 
And then this is a Nightbreak paint included in the Idris T kit. This paint is really nice. Beautiful. I wish it could be more chrome like, more glossy. Oh, server error. Now, while I was editing, this part of the recording was corrupted after the server error. So I'm just gonna tell you guys this. For the size 12 torpedoes, I have tested multiple times. There is no way you can restock these torpedoes. Or maybe because the server error corrupted the server as well. I have tried multiple places. When I fire those torpedoes, I just cannot replenish them. I hope that is just a bug or it is because just the server issue. So be aware of that. Now, the last ship is the Idris M. This is a military version of the Idris. There are total five or six differences that I can count between the M and the P. First difference is uh, in the back of the Idris M, you don't have that dual size 5 man turret. Second difference is that the Idris M come with 11 fully stocked laser repeater PDCs. Third difference is the bow, top bow main gun. And these are two size 7 laser cannons. And these are the only size 7s in game right now. So we're waiting for the size 8 on the Perseus. Difference number 4 will be the main gun right here. So the stock main gun for the Idris M will be the pilot controlled real gun. This one has 500 rounds. Dual firing mode. You can either click the trigger and shoot. Shooting like this will deal 144,000 hit points. The cooldown for this gun is 20 seconds. And the second firing mode is a charged firing mode. You can charge this gun for 10 seconds and the damage maximum can reach 288,000 hit points. So charging. And fire. Difference number five is that the Idris M come with 10 size 5 Starker 5 torpedoes. The pilot not only can control the real gun, the pilot can also control these torpedoes. Fire one. And you can rearm these torpedoes for 28,000 AUEC each. Not only that, co pilot seat can also control these torpedoes. Fire from the co-pilot seat. Another seat is right behind the co-pilot seat, C08. This seat can also control these torpedoes. But the advantage of this seat is that uh, you have the both bottom and the top remote turret, which can give you a better view of the enemies while shooting these torpedoes. So you can look at the target behind you and target lock that target and then shoot the torpedoes. The torpedo will turn 180 degrees and chase your target. Fire. Like that. Difference number six, which is not in game yet, is that uh, the Idris M will have a much better armor than the Idris P because this is a military version. But that is not in game yet until armor fully implemented in game. Idris P and Idris M, they will have the same Hall HP, 15.5 million hit points. 